So what did you say? What did you want to see in terms of Best Actress? Best Actress? I want Best Actress lineup to be exactly the same as the Golden Globes drama actress lineup. The same five. I hope it is. I also hope in Director that, like, all three of the women that, like, have been getting nominated get in. A lot of people are predicting, like, Regina King to maybe, like, get dropped. But I kind of hope Regina King, Fennel for Promising Young Woman, and uh, Chloe Zhao all get nominated. But we'll see. I kind of hope Aaron Sorkin gets snubbed for director. <laughs> Didn't he get snubbed in some other awards? He might have. He hasn't been getting nominated everywhere, but he's, I think, is kind of one of the expected ones for tonight or today. And I'm just really excited to see Supporting Actress, because Supporting Actress is, like, the craziest category, like, ever. It's like everyone thinks Maria Bakalova is going to win because she's like the only person who's been nominated at every award show, but I also think like she could just like not even get nominated because they're snobs and they don't want to nominate a Borat performance. That is true. But we'll see. Best actor, I think Chadwick Boseman's the easiest lock. Yeah, I think the easiest snub there would be Gary Oldman. Hopefully, like, Delroy Lindo gets in for The Five Bloods. I would love if The Five Bloods got, like, a few nominations today, because, like, it hasn't been really getting any nominations anywhere. But we'll see. Maybe Chadwick will also get in for The Five Bloods. I feel like that might happen. It might be a double nominee. I feel like we know kind of the top three or four movies that will get in for Best Picture. You know, Nomadland, Chicago 7, Promising Young Woman, and Minari, I think. Yeah, those are all like be solid. there. Hopefully, they don't do like a uh, a bit. Nick Jonas and uh, Priyanka Chopra. Yeah. yeah, they're definitely gonna do a bit. Everyone always does like a bit thing, but they're like married, so they'll have like better chemistry than most of these people usually do. Because I feel like most of the time it's like two really random celebrities who just like don't really work together. <laughs> I really hope Glenn Close gets nominated. <laughs> <laughs> I want her to just keep racking up those nominations for the rest of her life. <laughs> <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Bum. Best picture, though, also, let's see. Promising Woman. One Night in Miami, I think, and Mom Rainey's Black Bottom are kind of solidly in it as well, though. But I think it's, like, things like, I don't know, like, Judas, Sound of Metal, The Father, News of the World, like, those are also like, on the bubble. Yeah. Mank's gonna have so many, so many nominations, and, like, I don't know if it's gonna win anything. Like, Mank might be, like, the most nominated film today, but, like, end up, like, not winning anything at the Oscars, because I don't know, like, which categories it would win. Pull an Irishman. Yeah, like, literally pull an Irishman. If the little boy from Minari gets nominated, I'd actually, like, scream. That's, like, he was so cute at the Critics' Choice, I think it was, that he won, like, Young Actor or whatever. That'd be interesting. Yeah. I really thought Helena Zangle was gonna win that, and then like Alan Kim won it, and he like started crying, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> I do hope Steven Yeun gets in for Minari. Yeah. But I feel like it's like him and like Delroy Lindo, like fighting for that fifth spot in actor, and I wish it was just like both of them got in, and like maybe Gary Oldman sat this year out. <laughs> he was good, but I don't know. He has one, and he wasn't. Mike wasn't, like, an amazing performance. Yes, yes, yes. I just hope Amanda Seyfried gets in. She missed SAG, and I thought she was, like, one of the better supporting performances this year, so. Animation, I think. Soul is a guaranteed lock. Yeah, I agree. But Soul and Wolfwalkers are definitely getting nominated. Ooh. From Los Angeles, please welcome the president of the Academy, David Rubin. 
Good morning, everyone. I'm coming to you from the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures at the entrance to the Oscars experience, where you'll soon be able to feel all the oh, excitement yeah, the of standing on the show. Oscar stage yourself. Hmm. Really With myself the museum's that. official opening coming this fall, yeah. fans will explore <laughs> behind the scenes of their favorite movies and discover the magic of filmmaking in person. That'd be a cool this thing morning to is an annual when, tradition like, out, like, when we announce the nominations yeah. for the Oscars. All the nominees are selected by members of the Academy, a diverse community of filmmakers from around the world. Kind of Before I turn it over to Priyanka Chopra Jonas and Nick Jonas, who are joining us live from London, I'm delighted to share that this year's Oscar ceremony will take place April 25th at both LA's historic Union Station and the landmark Dolby Theater. And now, it's time to deliver what you've all been waiting for, the nominees. Priyanka and Nick, over to you. Ooh, they look good. Thank you so much, David, and good morning. Although we're in London, so it's afternoon here. But regardless of the time of day, it's a moment that each of these nominees will never forget. Absolutely. First up, the nominees chosen by members of the Academy's oh actress branch. <laughs> actress <laughs> in a supporting role. Most important role. one is first. Maria Bakalova. Okay, in she got in. Subsequent wow. Movie film. She's in. Delivery of prodigious bribe to American regime for make benefit once <laughs> glorious nation of <laughs> That long name is so funny. Glenn Close. Oh wow, there she is. Too. There she is. Glenn made it. Olivia Coleman in the Fox. Glenn Close and Olivia Coleman's names right next to each other Amanda is like Seifert triggering. In Mank. Amanda, Amanda Seyfried is in too. And Ye Jung Un. In Mina. There we go, and Minari. Congratulations to all those nominees. Our next category is Best Costume Design, with nominees voted by the Academy's Costume Designers Branch. Ma Rainey is going to win this, I think. Emma. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Mank. Mulan. And Pinocchio. Okay. And now, here are the nominees okay. for Best Original Score, voted by the Academy's Music Branch. Defy Bloods. Okay, Defy Bloods has at least one nomination. Mank. Minari. Okay. News of the World. And Soul. And Soul. Yeah. yeah. I think Soul's gonna so win, exciting. that's why I thought so that. Fun. <laughs> the Writer's Branch nominates screenplays in two award categories. This is best big. Adapted Screenplay adapted and screenplay. Best Original Screenplay. First is Best Adapted Screenplay. Borat Subsequent Movie Film. Oh, Delivery wow. of Prodigious Bride to, to say this American whole name Regime every single time, which is so funny. For Make Glorious Nation of Kazakhstan. <laughs> Sasha Baron Cohen, Anthony Hines, Dan Swimer, Peter Bainham, Erica Rivinoya, Dan Mazur, Jenna Friedman, and Lee Kern. Story by Sasha Baron Cohen, There's Anthony a lot of Hines, writers for one movie. Dan Swimer, and Nina Pedrad. The Father, Christopher Hampton, and Florian Zeller. Nomadland, Chloe Zhao. Her first nomination so far. One Night in Miami, Kemp Powers. And the White Tiger, Ramin Berani. Ah, yes. There's always a random Ramin. screenplay nominee that's like not nominated for anything original. else. I feel like that's the White Tiger this year. Judas and the Black Messiah. Will Burson and Shaka King. Story by Will Burson, Shaka King, Kenny Lucas, and Keith Lucas. Minari, Lee Isaac Chung. Promising Young Woman, Emerald Fennell. Sound of Metal, Darius Martyr and Abraham Martyr. Story by Darius Martyr and Derek C. in France. And The Trial of the Chicago 7, Aaron Sorkin. Expected. Aaron Sorkin, is he a newbie? Yeah, we've never been there. <laughs> well, since you did two in a row, I think I'm going to announce two short film categories. Both I know absolutely nothing short about these categories, but it's fun to hear them. For best animated short film, yeah, I mean, like, here are the nominees. <laughs> Burrow. Genius Loci. 
If anything happens, I love you. Opera. And yes, people. The only one I've heard of is Burrow. For best live action short film. The nominees are. Feeling Through. The Letter Room. The Present. Two Distant Strangers. And White Eye. Congratulations to oh, everyone. Yes. <laughs> now, the nominees for an actor in a supporting role. They are... Sasha Baron Cohen oh, in The wow. Trial of the Chicago Seven. Oh, right. Daniel Kaluuya. In That's Judas the and the Black Messiah. Leslie Odom Jr. in One Night in Miami. Okay. Paul Rassi in South He actually Night. got in. Everyone was really worried about him getting in. And Lakeith Stanfield in <gasps> Judas and the Black oh, wow. Messiah. Wow, what a shocker. Lakeith Stanfield was not expected at all. We'll be back at 5.31 PDT. Stay tuned. <laughs> So two Judas people got in for supporting. Yeah, they made, she can make split. It's like, I love how they're calling them co-supporting and like not co-leads. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's, I feel like that's weird. Like, Lakeith yeah. Samfield's the lead in that. Like, I thought they were calling Lakeith Samfield the lead and Daniel Kaluuya supporting, but I guess they're calling them both supporting? Like, who's the lead then of that movie? That's a good point. That's weird, but whatever. That's a really random nomination that I like. He was great in that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty expected so far, right? Besides supporting that. actor, that was kind of that was kind of crazy. Like he Stanfield. Yeah. No Chadwick Boseman in supporting. So no, he's not going to be a double nominee. Yeah, I think he's. Locked, obviously, yeah. for lead, but... Yeah. yeah. The actress uh, from Borat got in, too, which was interesting. Yeah, she actually did get in. Yeah, literally, I said, I bet Twitter's talking about it, like, Keith, holy shit, is the first thing I say. <laughs> <laughs> I, this is, like, the first time I remember them, like, t pitching it to London. Like, Yeah, I don't know why they're... Yeah, that was a little weird. It's usually, like, an L.A. press room. Yeah. I like how there was no banter. There was no, like, joke. He yeah. got right to it. I'm really glad I made this I forget and I was actually kind of worried about her chances. With Lucky Stanfield, that kind of gives me hope for Del Lindo, low-key. I don't know why, but, like, if someone can, like, randomly get in, Del Lindo's at least gotten a couple. Like, he was nominated at Critics' Choice, at least. So maybe he actually can make it. Seeing Glenn Close and Lily Coleman's names right next to each other was, like, so funny. That was funny. It's funny yeah. that she was nominated for a Razzie. And, and is also nominated for that for the same role. Jodie Foster, who, like, won the Golden Globe, wasn't nominated. But, like, she was, like, before she won the Golden Globe, she was never expected to be nominated. And then she won the Golden Globe, and everyone was, like, kind of predicting her. But she didn't get in. Yeah, that's interesting. She hasn't been nominated since, like, Nell in the 90s. <laughs> no Alan Kim in supporting. That was, like, expected, but, like, I kind of thought that, like, might happen. That'd be funny. But. Yeah. I kind of thought, like, I was kind of almost anticipating them snubbing Paul Racy for Sound of Metal because he just hasn't been getting in, like, absolutely everywhere. And I feel like that's just one of the type of performances that they, like, like to ignore. True. True. Glenn Close has eight Oscar nominations now and no wins. <laughs> like, <laughs> it gets sadder every time. Here we go, we're back. Welcome back. Or, if you just caught up and are joining us now, welcome. Let's continue with the nominations. Members of the Academy's documentary branch have chosen these nominees for Best Documentary Feature. And they are Collective, Crip Camp, The Mole 
agent. My octopus teacher. <laughs> and time. Oh. For best documentary short subject, here are the nominees. Colette. A concerto is a conversation. Do not split. Hunger Ward. And a love song for Latasha. Congratulations, okay. everyone. Oh, wow. The nominees for them. Best International <laughs> Feature Film were voted on by Academy members from all branches living and working outside all over the world. The nominees are Another Round, Denmark. Yeah. That was expected. Better Days, Hong Kong. Collective, Romania. The Man Who Sold His Skin, Tunisia. Quo Vadis Aida, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Oh, very nice for the pronunciation. Well done. Thank you. Thank Nari's you. not there because it's like an American movie. Yeah, the sound branch of the Academy chooses the nominees for best achievement. Only one sound category. Sound. It's so sad. They are. Yeah, like what the hell? Greyhound. I missed the two. Greyhound, that's the Man. Tom Hanks movie. Sound of Metal. News of the World. Soul. And Sound of Metal, it's gotta be. And Sound of Metal. Yeah. The Production Design Branch nominates these films for Best Production Design. The Father. I heard that has really good production design. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Mank. News of the World. And Tenet. First one for Tenet. Congratulations. That's good. Like Here that. are the nominees for Best Film Editing, chosen by members of the Academy's Film Editors Branch. This is important. The Father. Nomadland. Oh, wow. It's big. Promising oh, Young Woman. Sound of Metal. Ooh, wow, that's good. And The Trial of the Chicago Seven. I almost wish Trial missed this category. The Academy's <laughs> cinematog Cinematographers Branch nominate the following Ooh. for Best Cinematography. Judas and the Black Messiah. Mank. News of the World. Nomadland. And the trial of the Chicago Seven. Lots yeah. of nominations. Lots oh, no, man, Led wins. I thought that was great. The visual effects obviously. branch voted for these films to be the nominees for best visual effects. Love and Monsters. The Midnight Sky. Wow. Mulan. The One and Only Ivan. And Tenant. Okay. When you think of me, you naturally think of best makeup and hairstyling. However, they didn't of let course. me vote. Uh, instead, the members of that Academy branch this nominated only three nominees. Emma. Emma. Hillbilly Elegy. Okay, Hillbilly got in. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Mank. Okay, there's more. And Pinocchio. Hmm. Okay. This next category is voted on by short films and feature animation branch as well as members of the animation community across all branches. Here are the nominees for best animated feature film. So. Onward. Mm. Yeah, I didn't like Onward. That was Over the Moon. That was good. I watched that. A Sean the Sheep movie, Farmageddon. <laughs> so. And wolf walkers, right? And wolf walkers. Yeah. And now here is the other category voted on by the music branch. Here are their nominees for best original song. Fight for you, Judas and the Black Messiah. Hear my voice from the trial of the Chicago Seven. Husevic from Eurovision Song Contest, <laughs> the story of Fire Saga. That's funny. EOC, scene, from The Life Ahead, La Vita... Diane Devante Warren has another Asin. Oscar nomination. She's at like 13 or something with that And one. speak like now, crazy from like that. One Night in Miami. For act 
actor in a leading role. The actor's branch members nominate. Riz Ahmed in Sound of Metal. Yeah. Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick Boseman in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Gary Oldman. Anthony Hopkins oh, in Anthony The Hopkins. Father. Gary Oldman Gary in Oldman. Meg. And Stephen. And Stephen Young yep. in Minari. Okay. okay. Nice. Congratulations. No Del Roy Lindo really gets me mad. For but actress whatever. in a leading role. The nominees are Viola Davis in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Andra Day in the United States vs. Billy Holiday. Vanessa Kirby in Pieces of a Woman. Oh, yeah. awesome. Good. Frances McDormand in Nomad Land. Yep. And Carey Mulligan in Promising Young. The Expected Woman. Five. All amazing. Same five as the Golden Globes drama. For directing, the Academy Directors Branch has chosen th these nominees. Thomas Vinterberg, another round. Ugh, director always picks a really random David one. David Fincher, Mank. Lee Isaac Chung, Minari. Wow. wow. Chloe Zhao, Nomadland. Okay. And Emerald Fennell, Promising mm. Young Woman. No Regina King. Okay. No Aaron and Sorkin finally, again. Yeah, no Aaron Sorkin. That's picture good. Voted by all members of the Academy <sighs> are. Ready? The Father, David Parfit, Jean-Louis Levy, and Philippe Carcassonne, producers. That's one. Judas and the Black Messiah, Ooh. Shaka King, Charles D. King, and Ryan Coogler, producers. Mank, C.N. Chafin, Eric Roth, and Douglas Urbanski, producers. Okay. Minari. Christina O, oh, producer. Nomadland, Francis McDormand, Peter Spears, I don't know if Molly Francis McDormand Asher, was a producer. Dan Janvi, and Chloe Zhao, producers. Promising Young Woman, Ben Browning, Ashley Fox, Emerald Fennell, and Josie McNamara, producers. Sound of Metal, Bert Hemlink, and Sasha Ben Harosh, producers. Okay. And last, the Ooh, trial the of the Chicago Seven. Eight. Mark Platt and Stuart Besser, producers. Woo. I can't even think what missed because I. Well, wasn't I am thinking. already strategizing my Oscars pool. This Congratulations is, um, to all of these incredible nominees. My wow, is Black what a year! And thank <gasps> you for joining us and watching right. the Oscars live yeah. on Sunday. And one night in Miami, right? Only on Did they say ABC. one night in Miami? No, Black they didn't. Pie. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom and one, my, one Night in Miami getting snubbed is ridiculous. Yeah, but like, will you cut out that? I guess like Juice and the Black Messiah was, was like on the bubble. Oh my god, I can't believe no Ma Rainey's. That's actually insane. But, okay. Alright, right, overall, right, pretty happy. It was. Yeah. Rewind. Here, yeah. look at like a Best Picture list or something. Yeah, no Maharani's, no... Yeah. Yeah, no Manland, Trial are there, right? Promising Young Woman, Minari, Mank. No One Night Miami. No Maharani's, then there's Judas, Sound of Metal, The Father. Oh, was Regina King nominated for director? No. 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 Then, yeah, No News of the World, right? Yeah, good, okay. Yeah, that's so weird that One Night Miami and Maharani's Black Bottom were both snubbed for picture. I feel like that's... Who do you cut out, though? Or you just add them? I mean, I don't know. Now, like, it just feels... It, it's weird. I definitely would have cut out something for them. This is a Lawless Films reaction video. If you like this content and want to see more, then go ahead and please hit the subscribe button. Thank you.